what I'm going to try and do here is take off one more large spalling flake, hopefully. Semi Lavalwa like almost. Now I set up a thick platform here, got through the cortex, but it's really steep. It's like pretty much 90 degrees, maybe a little more actually. So it might not work. If it doesn't, I can come back from this side, hopefully clean it up. And then I can transition from seeing this thing as a core to seeing it as the final biface and uh, seeing if we can get at least a you know, three or four inch long point out of this would be kind of nice. created a platform on the other side. This one looks a lot better. Famous last words, I need to stop saying stuff like that. Much better. That is the nicest flake I've taken in a long time. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. I cleaned up pretty much all that mess on the top here. Excellent. Alright, I think I'll turn this into something first. This is quite the weird looking flake. It's really wavy. But if I can get the bulb of percussion down and the distal end, this overshot area here, if I can get that down, straighten it out, I can make something long and skinny. Maybe a really long Cahokia point or something. Pretty nice scraper as it is. Here's where we are with this thing. It's gotten nice and flat on the ventral face. Just have all this mass around here to worry about now. crack right here. This little chunk is just waiting to pop off in a really weird way. There we go. And that's the rest of it. All that crack's gone now. We're almost past the hardest part of thinning now. Okay, that's enough for now. I'll show you what it looks like when I get to the finished preform stage when I get into the pressure flaking. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea how I managed to get to this point. I thought I was going to break this thing at least a hundred times. But I am super happy with it. 
Did pretty good on my uh, parallel flaking attempt. Probably should have done the base before uh, finishing the tip, but well, we'll see how that works out. I'm gonna try and do like a narrow entry Ishi type point. Bring this in a little bit like that. Basically a really long Kohokia like that other little one that I did. Alright, I'll uh, see if I can notch this thing and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's the final product. Pretty happy with it overall. I tried to go for that narrow entry issue point but uh, I was having real problems with my soft antler notcher wasn't able to get deep enough into there so I actually cheated and uh, brought in a modern material I just have a little galvanized steel nail the rest of the tools natural so that counts right Anyways, so I wasn't able to do the narrow entry, so maybe we can just call this a big Kohokia point, but it's my attempt at Anishi anyways, my first real attempt I guess. Okay, back to the cannonball.